This is Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Voyager Class Skyquake. Figure is part of the uh, fourth wave of the Voyager Class, fourth and final wave, I think, of the Voyager Class uh, figures for the Robots in Disguise Transformers Prime toy line. Um, and it, I'm, I'm glad it, it made it to retail. I mean, Hasbro has been notorious for not. Uh, getting the final waves into stores um, simply because uh, these waves happen just before they release new the, the waves uh, uh, new waves for a new series and in this regard um, this one just was a little bit earlier released than uh, the beast hunters waves I mean it had the beast hunter hunters uh, Beast Hunters wave waves have been released sooner uh, than expected. This I'm, I'm sure the this particular waves this particular wave would not have been ordered by retailers, and uh, we would probably never seen Skyquake except at, on eBay. But anyway, um, with that uh, let's take a one second quick look at the packaging. Very nice. As you if you notice, the green on on the artwork is a much closer green to how Skyquake looked. Uh, on the show, whereas this one is a little bit too Christmassy for me, um, if you ask me. As you can see, this one's actually not bad. It's a little bit bordering on army green and emerald green, but um, on the actual toy and the actual product itself, it's just too green, Christmas elf green to me. Um, anybody seeing that or it's just me? Um, it's probably just me. But anyway, um, I, you know, when we saw Skyquake, he was the first one to appear on the show, uh, then his brother. We, I, I knew the, the toy would be really, really fantastic. And uh, despite being a very Christmassy green, I'm really, really liking this particular figure. Um, let me show you the Cyberverse version. And I think this is the green that uh, he should be in. Uh, it just looks a little bit cheap. Uh, but it's not. It, it actually looks really good. It's in like an olive green, uh, a dark olive green. And, and I think this is a lot more accurate to the show than this one. I could be wrong. Uh, but it should be somewhere in between. Uh, maybe Takara can do a better job at that. But, uh, yeah. Look at that. And uh, let me see if I can stand him up. Just like the Cyberverse version, this figure is a redeco, a repaint with a different, slightly different accessory. It's just the same mold as his brother, um, Dreadwing. Between the two, I mean, if you just need one mold, it's a toss-up for me. Um, I like both molds equally. And if you ask me, if you're a big Transformers Prime fan, you get one, you gotta get the other. Um, it, it's not. Uh, it, it's not some for me. If you're a hardcore uh, Transformers Prime fan, but if you're just a casual collector, I think Dreadwing will be a lot easier to find than Skyquake, and he's equally good. Uh, because Skyquake is in the later waves, and I'm not sure if all retailers had ordered this final wave. So, if you, if you don't want to have a hard time looking for whichever mold you want, I think this one is the better one. It's this one's for you, but if you ask me, looking at both of them now, I think this one is a far superior uh, version of this mold. Simply because it's got a better gun, the paint apps, there's more silver on him. Um, then this one has just very little gold on him. This one has more... No, almost the same, but I like the silver and green effect more than the gold and blue. So that's my take on that. And there he is. With the, vo with the Cyberverse versions. I mean, again, if you're not really into the scale perfection, and you're not a scale perfectionist for Transformers, these two are pretty good, too. So that's that. <clears throat> articulation, he still has the same articulation as Dreadwing. He's got a ball jointed neck, uh, ball hinge shoulders. Uh, he's got th uh, bicep swivel, hinge elbows, swivel wrist, no waist articulation, ball jointed hips, thigh swivel, hinge knees, and some ankle articulation because of transformation.
There is a lot of mold degradation, as you can see. It's, they're very loose. The joint, the wings on the joints on the wings are very loose. He's officially transformed um, this way. Um, it's like a cape, more than than set of wings. But I, I kind of like the way the wings should for this particular mold. I, I like it. I like I like positioning the wings a little bit higher. But it's really, a, it's up to you. Um, uh, mold degradation benefits the neck, I think, greatly. Uh, with the Dreadwing mold, it was very difficult to twist the neck. This one, I think, I'm not sure if they actually fixed it. It was part of their plan, or um, it, it was really it was really just degradation and made it very loose. That's fine. He's supposed to have light piping right here, as you can see. But they've gone ahead and painted his eyes. I don't know why. Um, uh, did they? Yes, they also painted as well uh, the eyes of, did they paint the eyes of Red Wing? Yeah, they did. Anyway, they probably weren't too confident about the light piping. It also comes with two accessories, the same sword that Dreadwing has, uh, which you can mount this way as well. Come on. Right there, on either hand, or you can store it up here. Um, on the back, just like a, a samurai or a ninja. It also comes with the, uh, the gun. It's, not, it's a different name. It's called the, uh, what do you call it? Pulse Cannon into a shatter wave blaster and to do that just pull on this thing there's a little bit of light going on right there this mech tech mech, mech tech gimmick not too fond of this I'd love to remove the spring and battery but I don't know I'm probably I feel like I'm gonna wreck it if I try to do so but it should have been there should have been a lock somewhere here but Hasbro didn't do it been a nice Gatling gun as you can see so that's that. You can peg that anywhere as well. Transform him into his fighter prototype, fighter jet mode. This, uh, both of them cloned, uh, both of them copied <coughs> for alt modes. Um, Agent uh, Fowler's um, prototype jet. <laughs> so anyway, uh, transform him. Go ahead and detach this part. Like that. Go ahead and fold the head in. Fold this one in, fold the nose cone out. I best to do the nose cone first. Go ahead and snap these two in. Come on. Alright. And yeah. And then tab these. On my copy of the figure. Already you can see some stress marks right there. I don't know why. I've tried to transform this one several times, but you can see stress marks right there on where the, the whole these with these panels peg onto. And it sucks, but what can you do? Um, go ahead and split this. And, and tab the waist pegs onto those holes right there, if you can. Clearly I did something wrong. Okay, there we go. Come on. Okay. All right. Um, the arms come like this. I don't know if you can see that. My bad for not doing the arms first. But you've already seen my Dreadwing review, so if you haven't. Huh. Yeah. Is that it? Oh, sorry. Like this. Okay, because they peg onto the holes onto there. The camera's not focusing, okay. Wings fold up this way. Most unorganized trans transformation of a figure. Okay. 
Okay. And peg them there. Come on. Okay. Finally, the feet. Go ahead and fold them like so. And these peg onto those holes. This peg, peg right there. Pegs onto this hole right there. Okay. And then the tail fins, they just tab onto the back like that. And the wings are still loose even in alt mode. Okay, I guess that's as good as it gets. Okay, landing gear, of course. And then molded in landing gear right there. And again, you can just like, um, just like Dreadwing, I suppose, you can, um, you can peg the weapons underneath. I'm sure you can peg this one here, or maybe not. And this one just pegs on top like that. So, not too bad. I mean, I, I, even in alt mode, it, it still looks great. I love this mold. Um, the weapons, really, you, don't, you could do without them. Um, but it, it, it's just... Make, makes it more accurate, more show, more sh more show accurate. But in alt mode, without the we even without the weapons, the alt mode looks really, really great. Um, see the hand sticking out right here. You can go ahead and twist those uh, back. Oops. Come on. Okay. So it's cool. Um, I like it. And you've already, I've already told my opinion on which one to get, but you know, if you ask me, I highly recommend both figures for those Transformers Prime fans. Brilliant, brilliantly done by Hasbro. Uh, you could, I'm sure you could do your own custom painting on this particular figure, but as it is, um, the green color, albeit a, a bit stark for me, store, sort of grows on you after a while. So, it's a very, very good mold, very good figure, and a great repaint. I'm so happy Hasbro released both of them, so you can complete your Transformers Prime uh, shelf. And, um, yeah, very, very good. If you find this on retail, just hunt it down on retail. I wouldn't recommend paying the ridiculous prices on eBay and whatnot. Online, I think there's still a couple of stores that sell this at reasonable prices, so by all means, go pick it up, pick it up there. So, um, if you love this video, if you didn't like the character, please click the thumbs up icon at the bottom. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash fxfriends for my latest toy purchases and upcoming reviews. Geek.com slash fxfriends for my uh, toy hauls. Uh, uh, Instagram at fxfriends for the latest toy sightings here in Manila. And uh, catch my reviews on two of my channels on YouTube, Chefatron, as well as FX Friends. And do check out the videos as well on Tech Sushi. Awesome, awesome channel. I contribute videos there as well. There you go. This has been the Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Voyager Class Skyquake. Thanks for watching.